Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World making a flipped math learning video. Remember to have your notes in front of you and be taking down the learning goal and important information from this video. So our learning goal is I can use the correct graph. I see oftentimes that fifth and sixth graders are confused when to use a bar graph and when to use a line graph. So oftentimes, fifth and sixth graders always use a bar graph. So the purpose of this video is for you to know when to choose bar and when to choose line. So bar graphs are used to compare things in groups. Okay. Everything's kind of in a group to fifth and sixth graders. So I'm really going to focus on when to use a line graph in this video. So line graphs track changes over time. Or they track changes over the same period of time for more than one group. So looking at that element of time, if you see anything in the data set that is talking about days, weeks, months, years, hours, minutes, anything that has to do with a time element, then your graph is most likely going to be a line graph. So let's look at a few data sets that I've created for this video and see if we can tell if they're going to be line graphs or bar graphs. So here's our first data set, Mustang TV videos. We have months and we have um, the number of videos made. Well, months are an element of time, so this data set would represent a line graph. It is going to be a single line line graph. So we would just have one piece of information here. If we tracked Mustang TV videos for more than one school year and had two pieces of data, it would then be a double line graph. So let's look at our next example. We have airplane launch. We've got the trial and the distance. No element of time here, so this would be more appropriate for a bar graph. Next data set, favorite movies. We have these sorted by girls like them and boys like them, so that means it's going to be a double because there are two sets of data. We have the movies Frozen and the Minion movie, so we are going to have a double bar graph here. And our last data set to look at, we're looking at plant growth. We've got the day, we have da data for tulips and data for roses. So this data set would be a double line graph. Okay, so when we put it together and graph it, we're going to go ahead and insert a chart here in Google Sheets. Chart types. We want a line graph. If we customize it, we can change the title to plant growth. and it will let us go ahead and label our axes. The horizontal axis represents the day measured. Okay. 
So we look at our plant growth over time. We could go ahead and further customize this, but you can see that there's a title. We have a label on our x-axis. Um, we need to get a label on our y-axis over here. That's T, axis, labels. I is the interval. We need to get that going across the days of the week down here. Um, L is for our legend. We have tulip and rose over here showing the different colors. And S is the scale. We've used up most of the graph space. So I hope that this video has helped you to see that when a data set has an element of time, we would make that a line graph. And when we're just comparing two other things, that would be a bar graph.